Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to start uh, using some tools that kind of go with the last couple filters that I went over and the tools are the sharpen, blur, and smudge tools and these tools are pretty neat, they can help you out when you need to uh, sharpen or blur only just like a portion of your image and you want to do it with like paint strokes and stuff like that so let's get started now the blur sharpen and smudge tools are over here in on the uh, tools panel and they'll be either a teardrop shape a triangle shape or this finger shape and uh, that's where you can find it And if you click and hold down you can see all the different tools so the blur tool here softens hard edges or reduces detail the sharpen tool increases contrast and the smudge tool pretty much pushes the colors around to create like a smudging like look so it like smears stuff I guess so let's go and duplicate our background layer so we don't mess it up and we'll just work on this background copy so make you make sure you have it selected now let's go ahead let's just start with the blur tool and go up to the top here and select your brush tip so select anything you want and then increase the size or whatever to whatever you want I'm going to just increase it so we can see what's going on a little bit better so I got mine here at 61 percent okay and let's just start like blurring something so we'll just blur the face on this and the way you want to do this is um, you can either do short clicks or you can click and drag and just hold down and keep on going over the same area over and over and you can see how this uh, is blurring out the face and you can see this is taking a really long time and it's a pretty subtle effect so there's different ways that you can change that now I'm gonna go back into my history here and I'm gonna go to the top where I'm done bl been done blurring here we go so right now nothing has happened because I went that back that far in my history now up here at the top there's a couple different things we've got the hardness of our brush if we put that up it's going to be a harder um, more concentrated blur as you can see that was a lot quicker and faster than with a soft brush so I just hit control Z to go back now we've got our strength here which will also increase the amount of our um, blur so if you put the hardness up and the strength up let's make sure the hardness is still up yep it is it's gonna do a faster and harder blur as you can see there now if I have sample all layers checked here it's going to blur everything in the whole document so just realize that when you have the sample all layers We've got a mode here where um, we can do a darken, a lighten, a hue, or saturation, or luminosity where you can um, basically blur based on these different modes here. So go ahead and experiment. So I'll go with darken right here. And you can see how this is different than just the normal. So experiment with those um, on how you like to on uh, on which one you would like to use the best and whatever one you like to use the most. I'm gonna switch over to the sharpen tool so I can show you some more stuff. So we've got the sharpen tool here, and a new option comes up that's called protect detail, and this basically just minimizes pixelation while maintaining details. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and I'm going to use my right bracket on my keyboard to increase my brush size. I'm going to go along like these glasses. We're going to sharpen these up. So I'm just going to zoom in so we can see a little better. And I can bring this down. So let's let's start trying to sharpen up this image here. You can see what's going on here. It's increasing the contrast they're getting way darker and then like the brights are way brighter and the darkers are way darker and now his sunglasses are like way different colored as you can see there so that's uh, what the uh, um, sharpen does 
Now obviously I applied that way too hard, so if I maybe just wanted to go across it once. And then you can see the difference that way. So use it sparingly, you don't want to go too overboard with it. Let's go to the smudge tool and yet another new um, option comes up called finger painting and it uses the background color as the smudge so if you have it deselected if you don't have this selected it's just going to use whatever's underneath your pointer or whatever's underneath your brush to smudge so let's go ahead and smudge the lips as you can see what's going on here <laughs> kind of looks funny <laughs> and uh, that's what the smudge does it basically just smears everything now let's go ahead and use the since these images are the same if I apply the finger painting method to it it's gonna be um, well, it's using like the it's a little different than what I expected I expect it to go white not too sure why I did that, but maybe it's part of the transparency background layer or whatever. I expected it pretty much to do nothing, but here we go. There's a. We'll turn him into the Joker. There we go. Nice. But that's how you use your uh, smudge tool, your blur tool, and your sharpen tool. So use the blur tool to soften hard edges or reduce some detail. You can use the sharpen tool to increase contrast along the edges and that in turn increases the sharpness obviously and you can use the smudge tool to create like a uh, I don't know kind of like a wet paint effect I guess um, painting or smearing effect so that's how you use these uh, different tools and hopefully you can use them in your next project <laughs>